Cornfield here with Mason Claude in northeastern Iowa. And uh, we're just in an untreated check at the moment, but uh, Mason had an observation he's sharing with the team. Yeah, it's just been kind of fun to watch as we get more into oxidative stress and learn how to manage it. Uh, if you look right here at each node, uh, basically each node acts as a filter essentially, right? And it decides where it needs to allocate its water and minerals. And what's kind of cool is right ahead of that node where there's a leaf attached to it, um, basically as water and minerals come up, it has to stop at that node and decide where it's being allocated. And what's crazy is as you accumulate too many nutrients unbalanced, you end up with heavier levels of oxidation right there ahead of the node. Then right after the node, you notice how it's clearer and there's no oxidation uh, because at that point it is allocated and, and mitigated its own stress essentially. This is V5, this is V6, and seven and eight. We went through a period of serious rapid growth uh, in, in June. And so you can see too, we don't have hardly any of that pith developing in between these two. Um, might just simply because uh, there might not be enough room for it to be completely frank with you. Uh, I guess what we're what I'm noticing for the most part is because of that period of rapid growth syndrome that, that crop is a lot weaker and then it's essentially trying to compensate building this pith.